yeah, really good. Um, it's been a long time out, very frustrating time for me. Um, but now I'm back on the pitch, back what I do, uh, love doing. Um, it's always great. Um, how close to, to full fitness are you? You say you're 100%, are you almost there? Um, I'm not far off, yeah. Obviously, match fitness is completely different to training every day. Obviously, I had a few behind closed doors games that's helped me out a lot with my fitness based stuff. So, yeah, I'm not too far off, and um, hopefully, if I get a chance, um, I can show that I'm back to my old self. Rangers fans are really impressed with the start you made to last season in the first taste of cup. Obviously, you never had that injury. How big an impact do you think you personally can have on the rest of the campaign? Um, hopefully, a massive one. Um, but it's not just me, it's, it's the whole team. It's what we do as a collective. And um, that's the main thing. And I'll try and do my bit for the team, um, as well as every other, other person in that dressing room. So, yeah. What have you made of, of the cross start of the season so far? Um, it's been a difficult one. It's been a difficult one, but look, we're, we're looking up now. Um, we can't look in the past. We've got to look at, at tomorrow's game. Um, and that's all we can do, really. We've got a, a good few weeks coming up. Um, tough games, but that's what we enjoy doing. Michael talks a lot about building a new attacking front with four or five senior attackers left from the summer. Obviously, you come back and it's almost like a new sign. How, how much do you relish the chance to, to put your kind of mark, your stamp, your authority on, on that new attack? And do you see yourself, could you be a key part of that going forward? Um, well, I hope so. <laughs> but no, it's if you get that shirt on a Saturday, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you have to deliver. Um, we've got a big squad now, so every time you're you're out there, you have to deliver for the team. And if you don't, then well, that's the way it is. And what was the players' reaction to the fans' anger at the end of the Celtic game? Yeah, we can't get past that. everyone was disappointed. Um, the whole changing room was really down after the game. Uh, a few honest uh, conversations with everyone, um, but we have to look forward now. Um, we know what it means to the fans, and we were gutted we couldn't get a result from. How surprising was it? Uh, yeah, it's always difficult. Um, we know how big them games are. Um, it hurts us, it hurts the fans, it hurts everyone to do with the club. Um, so we know if, if we don't get a result in that game, it's going to hurt everybody. Have you had a couple of weeks' time that given the players take you to kind of look over it and focus on tomorrow? Um, we've been trying to look forward. Like we, we have to have honest conversations with ourselves in the changing room. Um, and that's what we have done. Um, and that's how we're, we're going to come out of this and, and look forward. Yeah, just everyone as a collective. It's it's a whole group. It's a group thing. Uh, we have to be better. Is it reaching into the main fighters in terms of the players that have had those conversations and looked at the next two teams? Uh, I'm not going to go into individuals, um, but like I say, it, it's been this one we spoke about, and look, all we can do is look forward to the next game and, and delivering that game. Is that come back as an experience for yourself? And it's obviously been around you a long time. Is that something you look to kind of think chip into and give you guys answer in that manner? Yeah, look, we've got we've got a lot of new new faces here, and playing for this club's a big pressure. But you have to um, you have to deliver when you play for this club, and um, the fans the fans deserve that. So that's what we'll look to do. What do you learn from obviously the, the new players being in back? Because it's coming obviously will be a last season for the new players in the summer. What do you learn with the new players at the top of the pitch? Yeah, they've all got their own own different qualities. Um, look, I, I know I've moved clubs different parts. Um, it's always difficult to settle in. But I think I think we had the pre-season. We've had what is it, nine games, ten games. You have to start delivering at some point. So I think they'll look forward to doing that. This club has some huge pressure. How important is it for you as, as having experience being a new player, getting those results to buy yourself time to, to show what you really can do, to show your best performances? Yeah, I mean, if you don't like pressure, this this isn't the club for you. You have to thrive off that pressure. Um, that's something. Being a year out, I've, I've missed that so much. You can't find that anywhere else but getting on that pitch in front of the fans. Um, so I just can't wait to get back doing it week in, week out. What was it like previously taking over Celtic Club where when you move up here, the dressing room could be in half the strength of it and you were doing very difficult to, to focus inside of it? That's actually like the, the coach's job. How long have we got? Um, <laughs> How long you make it? Yeah, it, it's, it's difficult. Obviously, the start I had, it was, it was really positive. We qualified for the Champions League, um, we were playing well. Um, and then you, you get an injury and it's hard because there was different stages of the injury. Um, 
so you have to look short term rather than long term if you get me if you get what I mean. Um, so it's just them little key things that you can look forward to, like little aims, little goals uh, that keep you going really. Uh, yeah, that was probably the most difficult thing because you think that it's going to heal and, and be fine and then it's another setback. So then you're waiting for another thing and it's another setback. Um, and yeah, it was just it was just really disappointing. I was working so hard in the gym and then for it not to come to fruition, um, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't good. Was it always reassuring to have the manager mention your name so at, at any time and press you to go to say, oh, Tom wants to come back, Tom Rich still to come back? So Yeah, the manager's been great, great with me. Um, he's always kept me, kept me in his plans, and, and told me what he thinks. He's seen me as a as a young kid playing for Man United, um, growing up. So he knows he knows my game really well, and um, it's always good to have that. When you're injured, you're kind of to the side a little bit, um, but to know you've got the managers uh, backing it is great. What did he say to you when you first come into the club? Did he, did he pull you aside for a separate chat about that as well? <laughs> it's over a year ago, that isn't it. <laughs> Um, I can't remember too much of the detail, but um, it was definitely a positive chat. Tom, you talked about uh, supposedly going back, you didn't immediately have a setback. Tell me how weary you are of the fact that you've been sitting there. Um, well, look, it, it all hurts us. I've, I've said that. Like It hurts no matter how we look at it. It hurts. We, we've lost a game and a big game at that. Um, but all we can do now is work on that training field and look forward to the next game. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks.